All right, folks, we're in for a whopper on this one. Charlize, my moderator, sent me this little video clip. It was like a TikTok short, whatever. And I watched it. And I was like, this cannot be accurate because, first off, y'all are saying that it's, you know, took place in the state of Florida. And yet you're showing police cars that say Baltimore, Maryland on the side of them. So I honestly, when I went to go searching and Googling for this lady's name, I honestly did not expect to find this horrific story that I found. There's, there's no words that can describe it. There's no excuses that can cover it up, justify it in any way, shape, or form. I have saw many different stories. It, some of them said that not only did she involve her one-year-old and three-year-old in her little money-making adventure, but she also involved the pet dogs. Is 21 life sentences plus 800 years enough for a monster like this? She, she definitely got the sentence she deserves. It's one of the longest sentences prosecutor Katie Reed has worked for. 21 life sentences plus 800 years after teams of investigators found now 28-year-old Natalie Wagner sending explicit videos through Snapchat of her own kids. She would be asked to do horrendous things to her three-year-old. She would do it, transmit the video, and then you would get their response of, how pleased they were with what she did. According to Reed, in the spring of 2022, two tips came into Snapchat that someone was openly advertising that she's having sex with her children. Snapchat sent the information to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, finding an IP address that tracked the crime to Port St. Lucie. Port St. Lucie police joined the investigation and searched her home and social media, finding, they say, at least 20 videos they found filmed primarily in this master bedroom. Wagner was charged and convicted on 80 three crimes ranging from incest, use of a child in sexual performance, and transmitting child pornography. She really thought she'd get away with this? I think she did. And I mean, going through the production, some of the things she's telling the people are, make sure you don't save this, you have to delete this. Reed says Wagner was getting paid for the videos. The fact that she was selling them for no next to nothing, I mean, she must have been getting some sort of satisfaction from this herself. In most cases involving crimes against children, Reed says they'll often offer plea deals to keep children from having to go through trial. But this case was different. Absolutely no deal for this woman. Yeah, she she needed to be locked away and throw away the key, essentially. The judge handing down the maximum possible sentence. It's disturbing, to say the least, that she would just give away her children's innocence for 10 bucks. Reed also says the people requesting the videos will also be investigated. Now the focus turns to making sure the children's future isn't affected by this horrific past. Reed says both are with new caretakers, the three-year-old now in counseling, and the one-year-old hopefully too young to ever know what they went through. Also important to note the more than 80 charges Wagner was convicted on. Those were solely for the three year old Reed. That uh, prosecutor there tells me Wagner still has to face the charges related to the one year old, meaning her sentence could become even longer. Her husband is also facing charges related to failing to protect the children. Reed said Wagner claimed she did hide all of this from her husband. Now. I don't think Florida is very lenient on letting crimes of this nature, offenders, out on early release, at least to my knowledge. But hey, I've been surprised before. 21 life sentences plus 800 years. I don't even know how to phantom that. And still has to be charged with the, the crimes against the one-year-old. But the husband, is it possible that he really had no idea? And if so, should he still be charged with not protecting the children?
These are both little boys. But again, if he was not aware, and I don't know how they can prove whether or not he was or wasn't aware, should he be charged? I can't find anywhere where it's showing any proof that he had any knowledge whatsoever. But get with me down in the comments and let me know your thoughts.